And we're back to the game that pretty much everyone knows on my channel. So let's go ahead and get cracking onto Dr. Terror on the 19th of September. What I'm going to do, though, is boost up a couple of my resource rewards first off. Let's see. So that's my masterpiece. Then let's go ahead and find this resource reward at 15%. And then we've got another one at 18%. All right. So I've just got the resource rewards boosted. So it won't really affect my... Dr. Terra run through just yet because I don't need anything um, to help me out just yet. But let's go ahead and attack. Probably around stage five, six, or seven. I'll need some help though, but I will use it then. Let's go ahead and drop one boatload of warriors over here. And we'll go clean up some of this gunboat energy. It's going to take their sweet time though, these warriors. So with me, they'll probably end up going left unless there's something hidden up around here, which I don't think there is. All right, I've been trying to use different programs to record with as well. I'm not sure if any of you guys are into recording um, iPhones and iPads and all the screens, but I've been using a program called um, Air Server. Unfortunately, it uh, isn't really the best. There's a lot of um, pixeling and not the greatest unfortunately so can't really say anything about that let's go ahead and um positive about that really i'm just gonna go drop some critters don't use them anywhere near enough and i'm gonna go shock them i think i dropped two shocks there we might as well just drop three because why not right i'm gonna have to send my guys in right over here actually to destroy that cannon quickly before it gets to us there we go Shocking your crit is actually a fairly good tactic because you distract everything within the vicinity with the critters, but then if you go ahead and shock your critters, then the buildings or the defenses that are right next to the critters, they get shocked. So then the buildings that are within a further radius have to attack the critters. Um, so you're pretty much stopping almost, it's almost as if you're doing two shocks from your away from your main army. Anyway, so let's go ahead and check out Terra Stage 2. Very interesting stage to say the least. I think we might harvest a bit of gun, but Andrew, we'll have to wait and see though, won't we? Let's just go ahead and attack. Don't have a plan of attack just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and drop one artillery on over here. So that's about it that we can do. And I'm going to drop one barrage up over here, which is going to cause us a fair bit of damage, but it's all good. And there's nothing really to worry about. So I'm just going to go drop... I'm going to drop four boats of warriors now. It should be enough. Yeah, four boats should be more than enough. We'll send these guys right in over here. I'll just heal them all up. And there we go. Super simple. So I want to start getting that grind with my landing crafts on um, because it's going to take a little while to get them all to level 20. So if I cut off some of the time off now, I figure that'll be a lot easier um, like in about a couple of weeks when I just start making that push for level 20 head, um, not headquarters, but landing craft as well. All right, so what we're going to do over here, I think we're going to use this crystal solution as a bit of an anchor maybe. Well... Maybe not, actually. We'll have to watch out for that boom cannon, though. What I'm going to do, though, is clear out all of these mines out of the way. It doesn't seem like there's any gunboat energy that we can harvest super easy. Um, at least not for you lower guys. I might be able to even just go ahead and destroy that. Oh, no. Anyways, all good. All right, so I'm going to go drop a barrage right onto that rocket launch, and that should clear out most of those mines. Clears out the rocket launcher as well, but that's all right. And I'll drop four boatloads of warriors again. They should hang right. And indeed they do. So now we go ahead and... Oh. Just go ahead and smoke them up here. What the hell are these, these guys running to? Oh god. I double smoked the um, headquarters. That was rather silly of me. Just gonna go drop a heck of a lot of um, 
heals. That cannon's gonna get a fair few of our guys, but that's alright. Definitely taking their time. We're gonna lose a fair few guys. And the less guys we have, obviously, the less damage we do. Alright, I really should have brought out all my worries. This is gonna hurt us in the latter stages. Gonna have to wait up a little bit. But we got there. If only just. So it seems like a lot of you guys found Terra Stage 7 yesterday super easy, which is good to hear as well. Oh wow, we lost a whole boatload of worries as well. That's like no good. Alright, let's go ahead and get straight into Terra Stage 4. Check out the headquarters health at 184,000. Um, I think we're going to go up to the left hand side. You just need to watch out that you don't spend too much of your um, gumba energy but on smokes. But I think we'll be good. And head and send my guys over to the left. And then they should move up because the supplies up top are closer than this one to the right. So let's see what they'll end up doing. Yep. I'm going to have to do is just clear out a couple of these mines. Alright, so we've made it to the shock launcher. Let's tell all our guys just to make it to the headquarters. We'll make it there with nothing attacking us, so that's always nice. And then I've got enough for two shocks, I'd say. Up top, that is. Oh, wow, there's another shock launcher down here. Thankfully this time though, we lose a lot less warriors though. So that's how I'd go about doing Terror Stage 4. I'd say in about a week's time, probably even less, I'll finally have that um, headquarters at level 20. Which will mean that I'll be able to provide um, a little bit more realistic walkthroughs for if a lot of you guys are a lot, um, not younger, but a lot, I guess younger in terms of... Uh, game time in the game than me um so let's get our warriors back and i'll be back with terror stage five all right so because i want to go ahead and clear the rest of my map out i've decided to go ahead and just boost everything right now so we won't lose as many of our troops and so i'll be able to go ahead and return to battle that much sooner um i'll also do the power stone chance actually no Ooh, it seems like we've run out of um power powder all right so that's all right I pretty much used what I wanted to use, especially those resource rewards. So let's get into Terra Stage 5, scout it out first, of course, and check it out. It has 85 plus 102,000 health. Uh, let's check out. There's two shock launchers that are within range. This third one is not within range. Jeez, how many shock launchers are there? Damn. All right, thankfully there's nothing too much around here though, like around the um, headquarters that we really need to worry about. There's a couple of cannons and a machine gun, but that's pretty far away. All right then. Well, let's go ahead and attack then. I'm going to go ahead and destroy the suppliers on the right hand side, I think. Yeah. So we're going to use, I think, two barrages actually. Let's go ahead and use a barrage right up around here. Probably could have placed that better and maybe gotten that bunker. Maybe. That is a big maybe, though. Then we go ahead and let's see. Um, just sending in some artillery into here. Alright, uh, that should be good enough. What I'm going to do is just smoke up over here and drop all our guys. 
they shouldn't suffer too much damage and they don't I'm gonna go ahead and then smoke up to the sniper tower some guys stray off very much though not the end of the world and then we go ahead and smoke and flare onto the headquarters Throw a heal down. We only lost one guy. Which is great news for me. I'm going to use... Three shocks. Which is all I can use. Thankfully we get rid of that headquarters super quick with all that um, strength that we've got. But If you've got the gunboat energy for it... Um, that definitely did take a little bit too much gunboat energy. But... We did alright. 505,000 gold off stage 5. Cannot complain about that. I'm looking forward to what we're going to be upgrading today. Let's go get our warriors back. And I don't think we'll be able to take on stage 6 just yet. So I'll have to wait until we get our warriors. Yeah. Definitely have to wait until we get our warriors. So we'll be right back. Alright, and on to Terra stage 6. You do have to remember that we have a metric ton of boosts going on. Which definitely helps us out. Especially the troop damage for warriors. That really pushes us over the edge. But I thought... I think also I've done um, troop health as well. Everything will be down below in the description as always though. Let's go ahead and attack the headquarters. 120 plus 216,000 health. Um, the path to the headquarters is pretty simple. Just stay like to the center right. Like to the sniper tower. And we'll figure it out as we go. Um, there doesn't seem to be any really easy supplies to go ahead and get. So let's go ahead and just attack straight off the bat. What we're going to have to do, though, is clear out the mines right on the headquarters. Uh, shouldn't be all that difficult, though. Especially those boom mines. Oh, unfortunately, we don't get two mines that are right around, but that's all right. Then we'll just go ahead and drop all our guys in over here. And we'll just double smoke onto the sniper tower. Very nicely done. Go ahead and smoke onto the mortar. And then smoke and flare them onto the headquarters. Go ahead and heal them up. I think we did lose one guy. Ooh, no, we didn't. Alright, then we've got enough for, I think it's going to be three shocks, so. Oh, lasted a little bit too long on my shocks. Going to have to throw another heal down. Make sure you throw your shocks down a lot earlier than I did, because that was definitely very, very slow. But we did alright. you got to remember, a lot of boosts. Guess this is going to be a lot easier. Once I get my 64 warriors, then I guess I couldn't do most of these stages unboosted. It definitely make life a lot easier. We lost 30, got our guaranteed crystal, which really helped me out because I think I only needed one or two more crystals to go get another dark masterpiece. I'm going to get back my 30 warriors. And, we'll be and this is the final stage today. Terra stage is 7. We will be using our critters in this little section. So if you're underneath level 19. Then I don't recommend doing this. Because there's just too many shock launchers. Or at least there's one annoying shock launcher. And you don't want to be wasting one shock on just one shock launcher. I find it much better to be using critters. Uh, but what we're going to do. As you might be able to see. There are some supplies cheekily placed behind this mangrove grove and we are going to go ahead and get rid of some of these mines right next to the headquarters and the path to the headquarters is actually pretty simple you might even be able to go flare a little bit to the right maybe onto this boom cannon and then onto the headquarters it might save you up some but the way i'm going to do it also works so let's go give this a shot it's incredibly important to time everything right though in this um uh, in this stage. Alright, so what we're going to do is send in a barrage just to the right of that mine there. And that should get rid of all the mines, and indeed it does. Very nicely done. Go ahead and flare onto the sniper tower. Put up a smoke. Go ahead and flare our guys onto that flamethrower. 
smoke the headquarters and send our guy out there. Alright, guys. Alright, we'll make it there completely unscathed. Get some critters ready. Right now, go ahead and shock three times right now. Heal up once. Send more critters in there. Unfortunately, that shock launcher just aimed for my warriors, so a couple of my warriors do get incapacitated for a little bit. Thankfully, it shocks those critters one more time. Alright, this is not looking too good at the moment. It's going to be incredibly close is what it's going to be. Wow. One. Wow. That definitely gets your heart going, though. So, even with all my boosts, we only had one guy left, and that was incredibly close. Like, one more more to drop, and he would have been kaboom. So, we're getting intel piece, some dark, well, one dark crystal and two dark fragments. Get a lot of loot because of the uh, resource reward bonuses that we get. And that is how I would go about beating Terror Stage 7 today on the 19th of September. I do realize I was a little bit messy on the first couple of stages. Um, probably not the best, but... See, the thing is, um, when you're so high upgraded, it's uh, very hard to scale and uh, scale up to how it would be when you're a lot lower. So I do apologize if that was sloppy. I think the last couple of stages, though, were really good, especially that last one. That was really lucky. Uh, but until next time, though, guys, I'll see you later, and thank you very much for the continued support.